Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make a simple client server connection with sockets in C sharp. I'm using Visual Studio 2010, but any other IDE should work out since I'm just mainly going to use 2.0 code. And by 2.0, I mean framework 2.0. I'm not going to use anything in these. So, whatever. Alright. Um, just call it. Whatever it's called, server. Okay. Now we're going to make it a little burst. Let's use a few namespaces. System.net. System.net.sockets. Now, static byte buffer. Get set. static socket sock equals new socket oh actually hmm. okay sock equals new socket or just family dot inner network socket type dot stream protocol type dot tcp Sock dot bind new IP endpoint zero one two three four. What this does is this is going to bind our socket to a certain endpoint. This is the same as this. Right now, sock dot listen one hundred. And I don't have to explain it, you can see what this means. Okay, now socket accepted equals sock dot accept. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna make a blocking call and wait for an available socket that attempts to connect. And we'll transfer the socket over to this variable. Now once we get that going. Buffer equals new byte accepted dot send buffer size. The default buffer size is 8192. So that's that means that's the number of bytes that can be received at one time. Okay. So now we're gonna begin to receive. So int bytes mm, well, bytes red equals accepted dot receive buffer okay what this does is this will um, wait for a buffer receive it and transfer it to this variable and in this variable what this function returns is the number of bytes that were sent or the bytes that were read either way depending on what side you look at that on but you get my point now we're gonna format the buffer because if the whole buffer wasn't filled up you're gonna get extra crap white spaces and if you try and parse it it won't be pretty so we're going to format this byte formatted equals new byte bytes read and i equals zero i less than bytes read i plus plus formatted i equals buffer i Okay, now here, this makes the new byte, or the new byte that's going to hold the formatted data, with the length of the bytes that were read. Now, what this loop does is it'll loop through the bytes that were read, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 depending on what this number is, 
and will transfer from this position, from the current position in this buffer, from this buffer. So it'll stop whenever um, there were no more bytes or actual bytes. Now we're going to write the data to the console. String str data equals encoding dot a s c i i dot get oops get string formatted console dot write str data this means new line it's the same as environment dot new line or depending on what language you're coming from. If you're coming from VB, then you probably just used VB new line. You can use console.write line, but I just feel like using this right now. And then console.read. Netsock.close. Accepted.close and this is our server and next tutorial I will show you from the client point of view